Welcome back everyone. I'm Eric from Rare Candy and today we're going to be showing off a kind of a new take on Zacian. Uh, we're going to be trying out a very aggro version of Zacian. No ADP necessary here, of course, because we have the new Rusted Sword that just came out in Shining Fates. And this is what we are going to be trying to build around since this can help our Zacians hit for more damage without having to play a tag team, a bunch of weird energies, stuff like that as well. Um, but before we get any deeper into this video, guys, if you can't remember, smack that like button, help us beat that YouTube algorithm. And if you need any cards to complete this deck or any others, you can check out our friends at ptcgostore.com. Use that coupon code RAREcandy at checkout to save yourself some money. And our patrons have an exclusive discount code of their own for even bigger savings as well. But hopping back into the deck, guys, this is a Zacian deck I was playing on stream about a week ago over on Twitch. And it was performing pretty well, and I uh, wanted to show it off for you guys here on YouTube as well. So, of course, you guys are no stranger to this card by now. Zacian has just kind of been the best Pokemon in the game for a while. Brave Blade 230 is a fantastic attack that we have here in Trepid Sword. Great ability to help get you set up. But Zacian, you know, 230 is a good number, but you're just like a little bit shy of knocking out things like ADP, Picaram, you know, Mewtwo Mew, etc. And traditionally, players have played things like ADP to increase your damage output. But again, like I already mentioned, thanks to the new Rusted Sword card, our Zacians can do 30 more damage without having to run a bunch of weird, clunky tag teams and stuff like that in your deck. And that's what we're going to be trying out here. So the Rusted Sword, that boosts us up to 260. That's good because now we can actually one-shot Picarom uh, after going through their resistance. So that's pretty good already. But even beyond that, you know, we're still just a little bit shy of taking those one shots on tag teams. And that's where we have Galarian Zigzagoon to kind of pick up the slack here and finish off some of those Pokemon with the Headbutt Tantrum ability. Uh, we're playing two just because if we do prize one of these, it can be pretty bad in the matchup that it's going to be for. Uh, but between these two and these scoop up nets, we should be able to find our Zigzagoons, get that extra damage on the board whenever we do need it. Now, the big issue with this deck is that even though it's really good against tag team based decks, VMAXs are going to be a little bit out of one shot range for our Zacians. So we do need a way at sort of making those matchups a little bit closer. And the reason we are, or the card we're doing that to help that is going to be with the Hoopa uh, back from Unified Minds. So we're playing this for the Evil Admission attack. 10 plus 20 for every Pokemon that your opponent has in play with an ability. And what we can do most of the time is come in with Hoopa early on, get in that chip damage, and then on the following turn, we could come in with Zacian with a Rusted Sword and finish off those Pokemon V Max. But this way, we only give up one prize in the process and force our opponent ideally into a seven prize game. So the Hoopa I've found has been very, very important for those V Max based matchups. Um, you know, other than that, since we are playing a Scoop Up Net Engine, Jirachi is a great Pokemon to include. Stutter Witch is a fantastic ability that helps us chain those Metal Saucers every turn, those Bosses Orders, whatever it might be. Um, but a couple of other things in the Pokemon line are very straightforward. Looking at the trainers, a lot of this is also very familiar. We have the Metal Saucers in the deck, but since we have a little bit of extra space, I'm playing three copies of Turbo Patch as well. Just to kind of make our deck a little bit faster, you know, we don't have to, you know, attack with something like Ultra Creation. So I want to kind of take advantage of that and go just a little bit faster and maybe even be able to attack as early as turn one sometimes. But Turbo Patch is just going to be another card that helps us stream our attacks throughout the course of a game here. Uh, we also have one copy of Air Balloon. The reason I'm playing this is because, again, we do have a little bit of extra space. And one of the big issues with a deck like this is that every time you use Brave Boy, you have to switch. And if you switch into something, you need a scoop up net to pivot back into Zacian or hard retreat back into it. But the one air balloon will allow us to have a free retreater in play at some point if we don't have the scoop up net or whatever it might be to go with our switch to reuse Brave Blade. Uh, but from there, we also have the heavy four count of boss swords to stay as aggressive as possible. And looking at our energy, we have two copies of Coding Metal Energy to help protect against those fire decks out there. So this gives a shot against Senta Scorch. I think Blacephalon is going to be a little bit more of a lost cause. I think you might have to run something like Tapu Fini or something else entirely if you do want to be able to have a better shot against that deck. But uh, yeah, this will at least help us against the multi-prize fire decks that are out there. Yeah, so that's going to be the list we're going to be trying out here today. And I will say too, I did drop a bonus Zacian V Rusted Sword list over for our patrons at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. 
And that list is actually going to be a little bit more focused at better dealing with the Pokemon the Max in the format and some of the anti-meta decks as well. So if you want some exclusive content and help support the channel in the process, I'll have a link down below in the description if you guys want to check that out. But with all that way, let's hop into some games and see if Rusted Sword's going to be, you know, as good as ADP. Maybe even better. Who knows? Let's, let's hop in and find out. All right, here. So let's see, we got a game against Big Show, and we do win the coin flip. So, of course, we would like to go first. Try to get some extra energies in play, of course. Okay, not a bad little opening hit that we have here. We can, of course, quick ball weight this metal, turbo patch it to the active and attach coating metal. So right now, opening hand looks pretty good. Just curious what we're playing is. We have the fighting deck box. So it could be something like Colossal, which might be an issue for us. Tag teams, or I'm sorry, not tag teams, but VMAXs with this deck are a little bit of a rougher matchup than some of the other decks we might play against. But let's we'll see what we're playing against. I mean, we see the Orangaroo, so I'm, if I had to bet money on it, it'd probably be Colossal, but we'll see. Uh, so we'll just go for the Coating Metal. And... Hmm. We could even go for a Rangaru and put the Rangaru on top of our Zacian. I kind of like that, to be honest, too. Um, but we have the Turbo Patch, so we kind of want to burn that. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll probably just go for another Zacian. I don't know what we're playing against just yet, so I want to have an extra Zacian just in case of some... You know, crazy unforeseen shenanigans that we're going up against here. Uh, we'll play the Turbo Patch. Okay, we do fail. So that's kind of a bummer. That's kind of why I did want to attach, um, or I'm sorry, get a Ranguru, put on top of deck, but it's okay. We can still Metal Saucer that out at some point, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but from there, you know, we don't know what we're playing against, but I'm going to just say it's Colossal and play as if that's what we're going against. Hey, and that is fantastic. So going to open with this. Um, Especially if this, this is Colossal, this is a really good turn because we can go boss next turn before they even get to evolve. So, I'm hoping that's what we're playing against. This is Ranger. this could be anything. There's Crushing Hammer, so that's kind of bad. If they do hit heads, we probably won't be able to go for boss. Okay, that's the Tails, that's good for us. Okay, Quick Ball, so Moment of Truth here. We do see a switching, the discard pile. Okay, and it's gonna be Colossal, that's good for us. Now, if they get down Stone Fighting, that could be a little bit annoying. Okay, they do. All right, so we can still, man, we don't have another goon, that's the issue. If we top deck like a Dedenne or Crobat or something, I don't mind still going for this play. Oh wait, no, we still have the KO because it's minus 20, it's gonna be 240, so 230 plus the 10. I, I always forget that this is 230 and not 220. Or I shouldn't say always, but sometimes it uh, escapes me since the numbers are so similar here. Okay, there's gonna be Air Balloon. Probably just gonna retreat into Snorlax and go for the Gormandus. Oh, and they have the Marnie. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. We had the KO ready to go. All right. That being said, we can still make this happen. We have a Crobat, that's good news for us. So it looks like they're just pulling down their hand, probably as much as possible before they use the Snorlax here. And a Jirachi hitting the bench as well. So their board is kind of clunky right now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we just want to hit boss's orders. That's the big thing. So we'll get down this. I'm actually going to leave this Zossi in hand. I don't think we're going to need that. So we are, however, going to get rid of both of these. Just to play down some more cards from our hand. Uh, again, I would play this down to draw an extra card with Crobat, but I really don't want four Zossians on our bench. There's just no reason for it. Okay, we can still make this happen, guys. So... Quick Ball, right? We have a metal and discard. Okay, so I'm actually just going to Quick Ball away the Zacian. Go for the Zigzagoon. So now we can put one damage counter here. Go for the boss. And now, guys, we're in a pretty sick spot. So Brave Blade, the next turn we have the switch and energy. So we can just attach to Goon and Retreat uh, if we want to. But yeah, super good turn from our deck there. We have Jirachi, that's good. Uh, Hoopa, probably not too good in this particular matchup. Um, more than likely, we're gonna have to Brave Blade a VMAX twice. I don't know if... They usually have too many like HP increasing cards or damage reducing cards for Hoopa to be uh, a decent way to soften up a VMAX. 
But yeah, we definitely want to go for another boss this turn if, if possible here. Especially if they're just getting out one of these Colossals at a time, we really want to. But yeah, feel pretty good about the spot that we're in. There's going to be a switch probably just into the Snorlax to go for our Gormandize. Okay, a second Ranguru coming down. That's honestly great because now if we do hit the other boss, they're not going to be able to get a VMAX next turn. And, you know, we're going to be in a good spot. Like, honestly, if we get this KO, I don't know what they're going to do to clean up, uh, you know, finish out this game. Because at that point, we're just a boss away from a Dedenne to eventually win. So let's see what they're discarding here. Uh, Corvette is going to hit the discard. It's got a weakness guard and a stone fighting. Hmm. Okay, just pass over to us. Now... So I'll actually just get an energy down here. Because we can just retreat this guy manually. I would love to be able to have a bench spot for Jirachi as well, but we're going to have to dead a change here, I think. Um, just because that is going to allow us to dig a card deeper. Well, we're going to see five cards versus six. If we get a scoop up net... Uh, we'll get this down no matter what, guys. Because if we get this down and get a scoop up net, we can potentially pick up the goon. But then we'd still need our switching card for Jirachi either way, so. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do this. We should have another Jirachi in deck as well, so we can get down another one if we want to. But we're just going to go for the dead A change. Okay, and we have the boss. That's incredible. Going to go for the boss. Bring it this guy, go for the switch. Actually, we should just hard retreat, my bad guys. I got a little bit ahead of ourselves there. And just go for the Brave Blade and go for the KO. Yeah, should have just hard retreated the, the Zigzagoon. That's my bad guys, got a little bit excited about that one. But um, either way, I feel pretty good about the state of this game. If we just have to like hang back a turn and, and just Intrepid Sword or something like that, I'm fine just kind of laying low until we can get a boss for game on this Dedenne. Okay, there's going to be another Colossal. Okay, there's Primate Wisdom. Like, even if, like, we whiff this next turn, they're not going to be able to, to one-shot us either way. Okay, if there's going to be a Marty. That's actually best-case scenario. We would actually kind of prefer to see that because that helped us get into another boss. Okay, so, unfortunately, not exactly what we wanted to see. But it's okay, guys. We can still... We're still going to be in an okay spot. I'm not too worried about this. So I might even just switch into, I don't know, this Zossian back here, scoop up net the... Is there any way they can deny us a knockout on this Dedenne? I don't believe so. So we'll get the rusted sword, that's fine. And let's see, if they evolve into the VMAX, they do what, 130, I believe it is? So they'll be doing 170. I don't think they can actually climb to take a knockout on us, so. How many switches are we down? Two. So we're only going to have one left after this. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're safe from an attack. So I'm fine just leaving this guy in the active spot. So then from there, we'll just go for the research. That's cool. I don't want to have a turn where, like, hypothetically, if we do switch into this guy and they get rid of our energy or something like that, I don't want to be stuck. I want to be able to go for that boss play next turn. Okay, so we have the Metal Saucer, that is great. Um, we have our attachment for turn as well. I'm gonna save the Turbo Patch just in case of some 
hammer shenanigans, but I think overall we're going to be in a really good spot, guys. I mean, we could even just try to go for the knockout on the Snorlax, but I think it's better just to go for an Intrepid Sword at this point. Um, yeah, so let's go for the Intrepid Sword. Unfortunately, no boss in sight. But there was a chance the Snorlax doesn't even move, to be honest. They burn three switch, and I don't know if they're playing scoop up nets or not. They have two air balloons down. But yeah, they have one more switch. Assuming it's not prized. Um, more than likely, they're not playing scoop up nets. They could be playing, I mean, Malo Alana. They could just go for the Malo Alana for go the healing. Uh, so that's fine. Okay, there's going to be the VMAX. Okay, there's a great catcher. Kind of annoying. Okay, do they have the switch? Okay, we have the air balloon. And they're just going to go for the Gormandize. That's actually huge, guys. Okay. So that's what we like to see. And we top take boss for game. So yeah, absolutely like crushing victory that we have here. So let's just retreat first. Uh, then we'll just go for the boss. And go for the Brave Blade. So yeah, really aggressive, as you can see. Like, when you don't have to alter creation, just being able to immediately turn to blade, uh, Brave Blade feels really good. So yeah, pretty easy dub on the Colossal deck. All right, so let's go and call the Coin Flip. We'll call Heads, and we do win, so that's what's up. Been on kind of a roll calling the Coin Flips in my, on all my games that I've been playing today. And oh my god, this is my punishment. Yeah, you're allowed to go first, but when your hand looks like this, it doesn't even matter. So we need to top that Quick Ball, Jirachi, Zacian V. Uh, just top decking a Zacian alone would be amazing. So let's see what we can get. Ooh, more Peko. Very interesting. Hmm. Well, I think we are just going to attach. That way we can hard retreat. And then we have Metal Saucer and Turbo Patch to get this back if we need to. So curious what they're playing in this is this just more Peko dolls. Okay, there's gonna be power plant, telescopic sight. Alrighty, so it looks like this is gonna be geared towards the VMAX and we get hit with the Marty. Oh my god. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you so much. We were about to get destroyed here. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we can get here. Obviously, any hand we get is gonna be better. Okay, fantastic. We can work with this. There's going to be the switch into the Bolton, but yeah, they already attached, so no Electrify. That's great news for us. All right, so we can just get this down here. Um, Do we scoop up Matt? I don't think we need to. We could even just Quick Ball for a Jirachi, which I don't hate. Or even toss a boss. Um, You know, I don't think we need to... I don't think it's imperative we have any of that stuff this turn, so. Or maybe Jirachi. Because if we get knocked out, we kind of want something to promote there. Um, I'll say sure. We'll get rid of a scoop up net. And just taking a peek through our deck here. We did prize Azostian. That's okay. Let's see. Overall, I think our deck looks okay in terms of what we are going to have access to. So we're just going to get down a uh, Jirachi here and go for the Marnie. Alrighty, so Hoopa actually could be a good Pokemon in this matchup too. If they do start playing down a bunch of Pokemon with abilities. Um, they do have a Power Plant down and we have no uh, Counter Stadiums in this particular list. So this thing is going to stay and play the rest of the game. So today is going to be a totally worthless card for us. I'm gonna actually leave the Zigzagoon in the active. I don't mind if it goes down. Um, we might need this Jirachi, and I don't wanna retreat into it this turn and whiff what we need and then get knocked out. So we're just gonna go for the Intrepid Sword for the moment. Hey, oh, that is absolutely busted. So that's great, especially if they whiff the VMAX this turn. We can chase this down and take a KO there. So that'll be really good if we can make that happen. So there's gonna be another more Peko. Okay, gonna attach to the active, that's cool. Ideally, they whiff, uh, I was gonna say, ideally they whiff the VMAX and they just accelerate energy. That way we could chase it down, knock it out. 
We're gonna be playing greens, very interesting. Hmm, very interesting indeed. Okay, so Hoopa's actually not gonna be a good card in this matchup. So that makes dealing with VMAX Pokemon a little bit more challenging, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So we definitely need to still chase this guy down. Yeah, we're definitely still gonna do that no matter what. Um, so that's actually a pretty good tough deck. We can live with that. I don't think we're going to get return KO'd. So I'm actually going to do this because we're probably going to have to hard retreat into Jirachi after we attack into this. I mean, there is a world where we just take a knockout as well, but I don't really like that too much. Let's see, 30, 60, 90, 120. So we're hitting 130 right now with Bolton. So we're not really too worried about that guy. Um, yeah, we're just going to do this. Uh, we'll get down Zossian as well. Or actually, no, we shouldn't because they have the telescopic sight. Ooh, that's actually a misplay on my part, guys. Got a little too ahead of myself. I was thinking if we get Marnie or something like that, we probably want to have Zossian down. Um, but yeah, that's that's a, that's a big misplay. Yeah, should not have done that. But let's see what we can make happen. So there's going to be the Brave Blade, 230. Softens this guy pretty well here. Okay, there's the greens. I'm pretty sure it's like 180 and 30 to everything, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, 20 to everything. But with the telescopic sight, yeah, it's pretty good against this right now. Okay, there's going to be energy spinner. So, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to just go through two Pokemon VMAX, which actually might be tough for a deck like ours, just because their math works out really nicely for us, because they're going to get in that 50 damage thanks to the telescopic sight. Then the 180 is going to be enough to knock out Rosacians. And they are still playing Tap Coco, so they're just betting that they don't start with it since they are a greens deck. Uh, yeah, right now things are looking less than favorable for our deck. There's the max discharge, it's fine. Uh, we need a research ideally here. Or even if we don't, if we just get a switching method, we can still make that work. So still a wish. Um, okay, we have Switch. That'll work just fine. Alright, now unfortunately, our board's going to be trash after they knock out our Zossian. But we're going to get three prizes, plus our, our whatever our top deck is. Now, they haven't really been doing too much, so we just have to kind of hope that their remaining card in hand is kind of dead. We want them to have to go for a Electrify, if possible. Okay, we do get a Metal Energy... Metal Energy is really the only good thing we got, unfortunately. Um, and they top decked the research. Okay, their other card in hand was a research either way. Okay, but yeah, they're going to go for the Vault Storm. That's fine. It's kind of annoying, but we'll we'll make it work, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see what we have here. Okay, we get a research. Fantastic. That's perfect. So we're going to probably just get down this. I'm trying to think if there's. It's got 300. Is there a world where we can. With four Zigzagoons and Rusted Sword, we can actually knock this guy out potentially. We only used one scoop up net. We have two goons. Okay, so if we don't use another scoop up net the rest of the game, except for goons, we can actually knock this guy out with a Brave Blade. Um, I'm going to say that's what we're going to try to do, unfortunately. So, we'll do this. We're going to give ourselves the option, at the very least. And we're just going to research here. Alright, so we have Stutter Wish. Now, we could actually attack with a different Zacian. That would kind of be sweet, I'm not going to lie. So let's go for this other wish here. Okay, we get a Quick Ball. That is fine with me. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Do we have our... Okay, we have more Rusted Swords in deck. That's good. 
but I want to save this guy since it has our rusted sword. We have three energy in discard, I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, six. Yeah, we have plenty, unfortunately, it's sitting in there. So it's good. Attach here. Attach here. Attach here. So we'll switch. We'll scoop up next to the goon. Um, yep. We're just going to target down this guy, and we're going to Crobat for six. So, pretty good turn we're having in response here, I'd have to say. Um, ooh, this is not looking too good for next turn, however. That's okay. How many bosses are we down? We're down one. We can maybe Quick Ball thin our deck a little bit here. Um... Yeah, I kind of want to thin our deck a little bit. So let's just grab the Oranguru. That's going to be our last Pokemon in deck, actually. We're out of Saucers, but we have two Turbo Patch left, and we do still have some energy in deck as well. So, yeah, we're just going to go for the Brave Blade, and hopefully we can get some good prizes here, and we don't get Reset Stamp. Okay, so let's see. Turbo Patch, great prize. And Mel Saucer, two amazing prizes. Absolutely busted. Okay. Let's see. So we're down two switch and two scoop up net. So there is a world where we stellar wish this turn. There is a world where we win on our next turn even. Okay, there's going to be the Marnie. That's kind of unfortunate. I did like having the saucer and turbo patch, but at least this gets us closer to an actual supporter card. That's sort of the big thing we want to see at this point. Okay, so we can live with this. Okay, they're gonna go for another bolt in. Okay, but they're not gonna bench it. All right, so. If they have a boss, we just lose next turn. So what are we hunting for? We want, what, two scoop up nets here? actually preemptively attached to Jirachi because if we don't because if we whiff what we need to get the giant wombo combo to win we're going to need to just probably hard retreat this Jirachi okay so that's good T getting rid of the telescopic sites is honestly huge but there's going to be the research let's see what we can make happen here okay now, unfortunately, we did whiff the KO. But we can still we can still work with this, though. Um, all right, so they're going to hit for 180. Yeah, we just do this. Oh, no, we don't have Rusted Sword, guys. That's bad. I forgot. We needed to have a sword on this guy. So, okay. So, we're just going to have to go for a two-shot then, like normal. So, I guess at this point, we just go for the Brave Blade then. All right. So, the crazy Zigzagoon shenanigans didn't really work out for us there. We did have a sword in hand, I remember one of the last turns, but I didn't want to have two swords in play, discard one with Quick Ball, and then these get scrappered. Okay, there's greens, that's not boss, because if they have the boss, we would just lose. Oh no, they have the stamp. All right, all right, all right. So we need research. Like we just have to have research this turn. All right, so let's see what we can make happen. Okay, Coding Metal, that's a good start. Can we get research? And we do, that's really good. So, so we have the Coding Metal.
Let's see. I'm actually going to get down the Jirachi because if we whiff what we need, we might need to do some Stellar Wish shenanigans back to back. So let's go for the research here. Okay, so we did not get the Saucer, but that's okay. We have another Stellar Wish. So yeah, we're going to pick up this guy here. Promote this little homie here. Stellar Wish. Um, all right. Still not what we needed, guys. This is getting a little bit sketchy. All right, so scoop up. Stellar Wish. Okay, we get Turret Patch. That's not exactly what we needed, but if we get heads, that's going to be game, guys. I don't think... Yeah, and we're not going to be able to wish again, so we have to get heads here. And we whiff. So while we could Stellar Wish again, we don't have a way to actually move the Jirachi once it goes to sleep. So I think this is literally the last thing we can do here. We have to just go for the Primate Wisdom and just go put the Metal Energy on top. That way we can trap the Sword. Okay, we do get Turbo Patch. Absolutely busted. Can we get heads? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. And just go for the Switch. Hair point with the well played, super close game. Honestly, was not expecting to win this one, but we're going to narrowly take down the crazy Morpeko VMAX deck here. Alrighty, guys, that's going to wrap up our look here at the Agrozacian Rusted Sword deck, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, it does kind of feel nice, like I said, not having to rely on something like ADP uh, to get up and running. Now, ADP, of course, is still really good. I think people should still continue playing that deck as well. But nice to have at least another way to play Zacian V. And like I mentioned too at the beginning of this video, if you guys want access to another Zacian V list based around Rusted Sword, I will have a link down below in the description to our Patreon. That way you guys can check that out as well. That's going to be it for today, guys. If you did enjoy today's content, remember, like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications for when my next video goes up. And if you can, consider supporting this channel as well by becoming a patron, like I already mentioned, or you can pick up some merch at rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.